How's it going, everybody? Coach Matt coming at you with another video. Welcome to the recap of day six for the spring training 2021 edition. We first want to start off by saying that Aaron Boone is back with the Yankees and doing very well. We're all very happy that he didn't have any bad things happen to him after having that pacemaker installed and after that health scare. So we're all, as a family of baseball fans, very happy that he is back with the Yankees and doing just fine. Without further ado, let's start the video. Welcome back to the Daily Baseball Report. I'm Coach Matt, where all we do is talk baseball and baseball-related news. And we're on our way to 1K by opening day, so please don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. We're starting today off by discussing world champion Clayton Kershaw taking the mound for the first time. It's a little bit of a shaky start, but he is exactly where he needs to be, according to Dave Roberts. Says that he is working through some things, but he is where he needs to be. Providing the offense for that game was Chris Taylor, who hit a grand slam and a double. Just awesome to see Chris hit the ball very well. The guy's going to have some interesting roles to play as a super utility player for the LA Dodgers. Other than that, very exciting to see him do very well. Bryce Harper hit a long oppo taco today out into left field. It was a 430-foot home run, if I recall. He and Andrew McCutcheon both hit home runs in their game. I wanted to bring up the main topic for today, which is the Braves hitters. Atlanta Braves fans, when is it time to push the panic button? It is a week into spring training games, a week. And every one of these players should start seeing some things, start hitting the ball. So there are one, two, three, four, five hitters hitting under 167. There's a Ronald Acuna Jr., who is supposedly going to hit 40 home runs and steal 40 bags. There is Jake Lamb. There is Marcelo Zuna. There is Pache and Camargo. All of them are hitting under 167. So Braves fans, when is it time to start wondering when these players are going to start hitting the ball? I know I'm wondering, when are the Braves going to start hitting the dang ball? Glaber Torres hit a home run for the Yankees today. For the Orioles, Matt Harvey pitches for the Orioles today and he still sucks. He had a two-inning outing. He gave up four hits, three runs, three earned runs, a home run, and his ERA sits at 1350. So Matt Harvey is doing exactly as expected, which is he sucks. Sorry, Orioles fans. That was a very bad signing. The Toronto Blue Jays erupted for 13 runs in their game, provided by the home runs from Adams and Jansen. Cubs fans, what do you think about Craig Kimbrell? Comment below because I want your hot takes on how this guy does. Because he's been an absolute bust. In my opinion, this guy's been awful ever since he signed with the, with the Cubs. I know that there was like a, like a week in his uh, three-year tenure with the Cubs that he's actually been good. But ever since he signed with the Cubs, he's been nothing but awful. Today, he gave up four runs in his outing. And I think it was one inning. Regardless, it was a terrible outing. Craig Kimbrell is terrible. Shohei Otani is showing that he can definitely play both sides of the ball, the pitching side and the hitting side. He hit a 470-foot home run the other day, and he hit a, a triple digits in his bullpen session. But in his game today, he did 1.2 innings pitched. He, had, he gave up three hits, one run, and that run was earned. He had two walks. He has a 540 ERA, but he struck out five. So all the outs he got, every single out, was a strikeout. So he's definitely, I know he's on his, his, his comeback trail, especially with, the, with his pitching arm. And five strikeouts, getting all the, the batters out via strikeout, is kind of scary for a second. Because when a pitcher is a strikeout heavy pitcher, that typically means they're going to throw a lot of pitches. And that is a kind of a high risk reward 
you know, when you pitch to contact and allow the your defense to to make plays and make plays behind you, you can get through games a little bit more efficiently. I understand that it is the launch angle era and it's all about exit velocity and hard hit rate, etc. But with Otani who throws a triple digit fastball and he's not locating because he's walking batters and he's giving up hits, it doesn't seem that uh, he's pitching. He's just throwing, just throwing the ball in there and hoping for the best. So I'm rooting for Otani. I'm rooting for this guy. I hope he has a pitching coach that is teaching him how to pitch. Granted, they don't have any good veterans on the team. Quintana can't really be considered a really good veteran. He had a couple of average seasons at best. And Alex Cobb, I think he had one good season. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how their their pitching staff tries to help mold and develop him. But it, from what I've seen, it's just he's just throwing. He's not pitching. What do you Angels fans think? Give me your hot takes down below. The Mariners turned a triple play, and it was pretty awesome. Look at what happened. The Mariners offense was led by Lewis, who had a single and a double and a couple of runs scored. Awesome to see this guy play and do it well. The Brewers beat up the Colorado Rockies 12-3, and they had home runs from four different players. The big story from that game is Trevor Story, pun intended, hit a home run. And my question to all of you that watch this video is, will Trevor Story be traded by the trade deadline? Because I think he will. I do not think he will finish the season in a Rockies uniform. They've already committed that they will not be signing him to an extension. They cannot afford it after dumping $50 million to the St. Louis Cardinals when they gave away Nolan Arenado. So who do you think he's going to be traded to? I personally think it's going to be a fringe team. It's going to be one of those teams that needs that little bust, that, that little extra uh, oomph for the push, or it'll be a team that has an injury. So like if the Yankee, if Glaber Torres goes down or if, you know, Kevin Biggio gets injured or someone uh, of that nature gets injured and uh, they need a quick six month rental, or I guess it would be like a three month rental, wouldn't it? Be August, September, October, three months. It would be a three month rental to uh, just give up a couple of picks and a little bit of cash and then have a potential run at a, at a World Series. That's what I think. I think that uh, story will definitely be traded by the deadline. National fans, what do you think of Max Serger's outing yesterday? He had 1.2 innings pitched. He gave up one hit. He had two runs, two earned runs, two walks, two strikeouts, and his ERA currently sits at 10.8. It caused for a little bit of concern. His command really wasn't there. He's, I don't know how I feel about that. So if Scherzer isn't Max Scherzer, the Nationals are, are in some, some doo-doo. They're in some trouble there. So I wonder how that's going to go. I wonder if he'll turn it around. Granted, I understand it's probably his first, I think it was his first outing. First or second outing. Regardless, Max Scherzer is better than that. And I know he will turn it around, but... Causes for a little bit of concern. Flag is raised there. Josh Rojas hit two home runs and had five RBIs in his game. Fernando Tatis Jr. had two hits in his game and two runs scored against the San Francisco Giants. And Cronenworth also had two hits in that game. Joe Musgrove made his... San Diego Padres debut and he pitched two innings had one strikeout and has a zero ERA the guy pitched lights out sadly there is no video of this spring training absolutely sucks that they do not have any highlight reels or anything from like a third of the games it's just if you want to grow the game you got to be able to show the you got to be able to show the games well that does it for today's video and please like the video Subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll see you tomorrow.